What's up you guys and welcome back to our latest Structure Deck Challenge. This time we have something a little bit special. These are the Asian English Structure Decks that they just released. This is Rise of the Blue Eyes. An Illusion of the Dark Magicians. So they actually released these in territories like Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Indonesia. That means these aren't TCG legal, but we got our hands on them, so we're gonna open them up and have ourselves a duel. What makes these a little bit special is that not only do they have Structure Decks inside with modern support for Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, they also have power-up packs that come with additional staples and support cards. Yeah, let's mix these cards together and see what we can do. But before we do, make sure to drop a like on the video, helps with the YouTube algorithm, and let us know down in the comments. Should they release these products in the TCG? I mean, they're pretty cool. I think they'd be really fun. And also, which deck do you think is going to win? All right, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay, so I've got Structure Deck Illusion of the Dark Magicians, power-up pack included. One interesting detail I noticed is this says nine plus years, Asian English, or English edition for Asia. Unveil the wisdom of the Dark Magicians, and it's got a deck list on here where you can get an extra deck and all the different cards that we can get in our power-up pack. Inside, we have a play mat, power-up pack, and the deck itself. So despite not technically being TCG legal cards, to my knowledge, these are pretty much just they look like normal English cards. Dark Magician, uh, tablet artwork, not one of my favorites, but I guess it fits with how the deck looks. Dark Magician Girl, Magician of Dark Illusion, so actually some really decent newer Dark Magician support. Uh, Magician's Robe, Magician's Rod, this is a really important starter card, and Magician's Souls reprinted as common. When I say reprinted, I mean, I guess this isn't a TCG product, but this would sure be really cool if they released it, because this card actually still has a bit of a price on it. Magic Karibo, that's a newer one. Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, a draw engine. Armageddon Knight's an interesting one, and Keeper of Dragon Magic. And now for the spells, we got Magical Dimension, Dark Magical Circle, Soul Servant, one of my favorites, and Monster Reborn with uh, OCG or Original Art or whatever you want to call it art that they would not normally release here in the TCG. Spellbook of Secrets and Spellbook of Knowledge, used with your blue boy. Trap cards are Eternal Soul, Magician Navigation, Solemn Judgment, Magic Cylinder, Amulet Dragon, and Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. All right guys, I have my Rise of the Blue Eyes Asian English Structure Deck. Uh, destroy all with the power of blue eyes. All right, here we are. We have our deck, playmat, and power-up pack. All right, the blue eyes. White Dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. This is like the basic vanilla dragon package. Maiden with eyes of blue, protector, sage, master, keeper of the shrine, the white stone of legend, stone of agents, dictator of D. He's like, I forget what set he was in, but he's a newer one. Oh, Brotar and Levianir. Dragon Shrine, Silver Scry, Burst from Destruction, Mausoleum of White, Dragon Ravine, Terraforming. Oh, True Light. Wow. So yeah, we got the um, Eternal Soul, but for blue eyes. That's cool. Ring of Destruction. Whoa. This is old school. This is like Lost Art Ring of Destruction with the grenades. Azure Eyes and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. I'm sorry. This is the highlight now. That is sick. Okay, so let's open up our power-up pack. It even says Illusion of the Dark Magicians because I believe that these power-up packs actually have different cards. Five out of 20 randomly inserted. Oh, one small detail too is that these have a different Yu-Gi-Oh logo down here. So that's how you know that they're not TCG cards. Oh, okay, so we got DD Crow, Allure of Darkness and Draw Power, Ebon Illusion Magician, an extra, extra deck monster, Scapegoat, and King of the Swamp, which can be treated as a different card. Not too shabby. Let's see what's in our power-up pack. What is this, like Prismatic Secret Rare, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, Where Art Thou is a super rare, Bottomless Trap Hole, also super, Return of the Dragon Lords, and Crackdown. Yo, these are, these are, these are useful cards. All right, guys, so we have our deck sleeved up and ready. Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes. So remember, before the video starts, make sure to drop a like. Okay, die. die. Wow, that's a one on that die, y'all. That's a one. I got a four. Wow, I hit my hand so you should have to reroll it. Okay. One! Ha! Wow. All right, right on again. Five! Oh, yeah, we in this now. Two. Two. Okay. Whoop. All right, you get to pick. All right, I'm going first. Wow, not a trap in sight. Okay. First, I'm going to activate terraforming because I forgot what field spell was in this deck. We'll get the Mausoleum of White, mostly because I have no way of using Dragon Shrine right now. All right, all right, check this out. So I'm going to activate my Mausoleum of White. 
All right, what's that do? It gives me an additional normal summon of a level one Light Monster. Okay. So it works with those uh, Eyes of Blue cards. I'll activate my one for one by selling a monster from my hand to the graveyard. I can special summon a level one monster from my deck. My Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Then I can use my Mausoleum's Effect. So I'm targeting my Maiden with Mausoleum's Effect, triggering Maiden's Effect to special summon a Blue Eyes from my deck. I'll get my Blue Eyes White Dragon with Maiden's Effect, and then Mausoleum will send a normal monster from deck to grave. There's really no good normal monster to send. There's no such thing as a bad monster. So we'll send Alexandrite Dragon, and my Maiden will gain 400 attack and defense. I'll go ahead and Synchro Summon, because it's a level one tuner and my level eight dragon, to make the Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. Pass. I'll draw for my turn. I'll activate Spellbook of Secrets. I'm gonna search Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. I'll normal summon Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. I'm going to add to my hand. You should surprise me and hand. not get the obvious one. Spell, there's no other option. Of course not. Spellbook of Knowledge. You should've gotten Spellbook of Power. I'm gonna activate Spellbook of Knowledge. I send to the graveyard a Spellcaster or another Spellbook card from my hand. And if I do, I'll draw two cards. That is not all though, Duelist. I'll chain. My quick play spell, Soul Servant, which actually lets me place a card on top of my deck that is Dark Magician or mentions it. The Dark Magical Circle. Dark Magical Circle goes on top of my deck and then I draw two cards. My turn's not done, Duelist. Oh my gosh. We're gonna activate Dark Magical Circle. When it's revealed, I look at the top three cards of my deck. If I get a Dark Magician or a Speller Trap that mentions it, I can add it to my hand. Well, I didn't get that, but I can reorder my cards and I think I'm actually gonna just keep this order. Oh, that means they bad. Couldn't even decide what to put. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw. Well, yeah, I can go for turn. I will, in the standby phase, use the effect of my Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. I will tribute it, special summon, my Azure Eye Silver Dragon. Once per turn during my standby phase, I can target a normal monster in my graveyard, my Blue Eyes, and special summon. Got it. Yeah, big dragon time. I'll activate my Melody of the of Awakening Dragon. So I discard one card from my hand to add up to two dragons that have 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less yeah. defense. I might only have one target in this deck. It was on, it was on top. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Azure Eyes attacks for 2,500. And then my Blue Eyes attacks for 3,000. White uh, Lightning attack. Looking already at 2,500. All right, I'll end my turn. Not Good luck. pleasant or fun. I draw. Activate. The allure of darkness. He is still drawing cards. I draw one and two. I hope you have no dark monsters. Then I have to banish a dark monster. I banish Breaker the Magical Warrior. All right, I'm going to activate Magician Souls in my hand by sending a Dark Magician to my graveyard. All right. Rather a level six or higher spellcaster, but well, we all knew what it was gonna be. I can either special summon it from my hand or I can summon that Dark Magician instead. I think it's about time he entered this duel. Right. Special Summon Dark Magician. That is gonna trigger the effect of my Dark Magical Circle. It lets me target a card and banish it. Let's get rid of Mausoleum of White since I can't hit your blue eyes anyway. You cannot. I'm going to next activate the effect of my Soul Servant in the Graveyard. So I'll use my Soul Servant in the Graveyard and its effect lets me draw a card for every Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl on the field or the graveyard. No, he's still drawing. All right, I draw one card. I have not drawn one card. Next, I'm going to Normal Summon my Summoner Monk. It gets changed to Defense Position, and now I'll use its effect. I'll discard Illusion Magic. All right, I'm gonna Special Summon Keeper of Dragon Magic. So, my Keeper of Dragon Magic also has an effect. When it's summoned, it lets me add a Polymerization or a Fusion a Normal Spell for my deck. I'll get my Polymerization. I activate Polymerization. I Fusion Summon a Fusion Monster. Using Keeper of Dragon Magic and Dark Magician. I'll summon Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. Dark Magician the Dragon Knight is gonna attack Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. I'll activate the effect of Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Because a card was destroyed, I can special summon my Jet Dragon to the field as long as I have a Blue Eyes White Dragon on the field. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to just set a card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll have my Jet Dragon attack your Dark Magician. I'll activate Magical Dimension. I'm going to target Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk will get tributed, and it'll special summon the Magician's Robe. And then I get to destroy a monster on the field. Blue Eyes, Jet Dragon. My Blue Eyes will attack your Dragon Knights. Okay, so they're both destroyed. I will go to Main Phase 2, and I'll activate my Return of the Dragon Wolf. So Boy. I can special summon my blue eyes back to the field. Then I will set one card face down and end my turn. I draw. 
I'm going to normal summon Armageddon Knight. When it's summoned, I can send a dark monster from my deck to the graveyard. The Magic Karibo. I'm going to end my turn. During your end phase, I'll activate my face down, True Knight. So I'll use the second effect. Vision with eyes of blue and set it to my side of field. Draw for turn. Blue Eyes, attack Armageddon Knight. Because a card was destroyed, I can activate the effect of my Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon special summons to the field, and now I'll have my Jet Dragon attack your Magician's Robe. And I'll use his effect in damage calculation. I target your face down. You returned a face down card to my hand. And now battle concludes. Magician's Robe is destroyed, but that means I can activate my Magic Rebo in the graveyard. I can add it from the graveyard to my hand and I end my turn. Well, I'm actually gonna activate the effect of Magic Karibo. Since I took damage this turn, I can send it from my hand to the graveyard and summon a Dark Magician or a Dark Magician Girl from deck or grave. Oh. So say hello. Oh, yikes. To Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. Should've sent the circle. His name is sent, or not sent, yeah. <laughs> his name is treated as Dark Magician in the field in the graveyard. That means that it'll trigger Dark Magical Circle. And the card I'm gonna banish is your Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. My jet! My move then duels. It has to be. I draw. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon my master with eyes of blue. Activate its effect, I'll get back my maiden. Blue eyes, attack his dragon knight. Both our monsters will be destroyed. Damage calculation. Oh, you have something? I discard honest. Oh. So my monster's gonna gain attack equal to your monster's attack. <sighs> yeah, that's 3,000, which means I lose game one. All right, so who goes first this time? For game two, since I lost, I'm gonna be taking the first move duelist. I'll normal summon my Dimension Conjurer. So when it's normal or special summon, I get to add a Magical Dimension from my deck or graveyard to my hand. I'll get Magical Dimension to my hand. I think hand. it's supposed to look like the monster that's in Magical Dimension. And then I'm gonna set one card face down and another card face down. And with that, I end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Dragon Shrine to send the dragon from my deck to grave. I'll send my Keeper of the Shrine. I'll normal summon Alexandrite Dragon. Alexandrite Dragon, attack. All right, well, I'm gonna use this card, my Magical Dimension. So I'm going to target my Dimension Conjurer. So I'll tribute Dimension Conjurer and special summon the Apprentice Illusion Magician. Then we're gonna destroy Alexandrite Dragon. I did not expect this to come up so soon, but you you destroyed my Alexandrite Dragon, which activates my Keeper of the Shrine's effect, the special summon to the field. Okay, well I've also got a couple of effects of my own. Dimension Conjurer, since it was sent from the Monster Zone of the Graveyard, will let me draw cards equal to the number of spellcasters I control, then place cards from my hand on top of my deck in any order. So draw one to the place number one. I place. Also, Apprentice Illusion Magician got summoned, which means that I can add a Dark Magician from my deck to my hand. Ooh, well, I'm Chain Link 1. Okay, I'll have Conjurer be Chain Link 2, and then Apprentice Illusion Magician at Chain Link 3. So, Apprentice Illusion Magician is going to add Dark Magician to my hand, and then I'll get to draw one card and place a card on top of my deck. So my keeper will special summon himself and because that was a normal monster, he will add the Alexandrite Dragon to my hand. Set one card face down and my turn. I draw. I'll activate my Dark Magical Circle. And I got Illusion Magic. I'll be adding it to my hand. We'll put these on top of my deck. I'll activate my Eternal Soul. I'll special summon the Dark Magician in my hand. And that means that I get to use the effect of Dark Magical Circle. Target. Your Keeper of the Shrine. Normal summon the Armageddon Knight. Let's send my Magic Karibo. Armageddon Knight attack for 1400. Then Apprentice Illusion attack for 2000. And then Dark Magician attacks you directly for 25. I'll end my turn there. Draw for time. Got some pesky cards on that board. Do I? I have no but idea what you're talking about. I have a friend in my hand who might have a, set, a little something to say about that. I'll normal summon Kaiba Man. Uses effect to tribute and special summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon in my hand. Blue Eyes White Dragon attack Apprentice Illusion Magician. And I'll end my turn. I draw. 
I'll tribute the Dark Magician. For the Dark Magician girl, I'll be activating my Eternal Soul. I'll special summon my Dark Magician to the field. That means my Dark Magical Circle will activate and lets me banish a card on the field. Say goodbye to the Blue Eyes White Dragon, which clears the way for a direct attack duelist. Dark Magician attack his life points directly. Yeah. Goodbye to 2500 and game two. Wow. I'll take the first move. First, I'll activate my Dragon Shrine. My Alexandrite Dragon, because it's a normal monster, I can send another monster by White Stone of Vengeance. And I'm not through yet. I had a feeling you weren't. It was only and your first And then spell. I will send a Blue Eyes White Dragon from deck to grave. Like, so I guess this is kind of like my Magician Souls in a way, because I'm sending like from my deck to activate Dictator of D. I activate Dragon Revival Rhapsody. I'll special summon Alexandrite Dragon and my Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow, so it's the flute of summoning dragon, but like a little better, really. Because he plays a guitar, it's not a flute anymore. And then I'll set a card face down. I'll move to the end phase. Got it. And activate my White Stone of Ancients. On the turn it was sent to the graveyard, I can special summon a Blue Eyes monster from my deck. And as you know, there's only one other in my deck the mighty Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. I am my turn. I draw one card. I'll use my own Magician Souls. Let's send Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard. Right. And it'll let me special summon it. I'm going to choose to summon Magician Souls instead of summoning Dark Magician Girl because God knows I have a brain. I'll use the effect of Magician Souls so I can send spell cards from my hand or field to the graveyard and draw cards for each. The Wonder Wand and Secrets of Dark Magic to draw two cards. Next, I'm gonna activate Dark Magic Inheritance. So I'll banish two spells from my grave to add a Speller Trap to my hand that mentions Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. You can use the ones you just sent. I can, combo attack. I'll get the Soul Servant to my hand. I'll activate Dark Magical Circle. I'll get the Eternal Soul to my hand and reposition the next two cards as I see fit. I'll tribute Magician Souls for Apprentice Illusion Magician. So since it was normal summon, I can add a Dark Magician for my deck to my hand. Finally, he joins the fight. It only took several searches. I'm gonna set one card face down, two cards face down, maybe even three cards face down. Slide of face down. Take it away, duelist. Draw for turn. Do I'll your worst. start my main phase with the normal summon of Maiden with Eyes of Blue. I'll Synchro Summon. Make the Ajurai's Silver Dragon. My Blue Eyes White Dragon. Attack Apprentice Illusion Magician. All right, well, I'm gonna activate this, the Eternal Soul. As you know, it lets me special summon a Dark Magician from my hand or graveyard. You know what you have one up there. Yeah, the one copy this deck affords me. I special <laughs> summon Dark Magician from my hand. That means Dark Magical Circle's gonna activate. It lets me target one of your cards and banish it. Now, unfortunately, I can't target them, right? You cannot target my dragons. Well, that's good, because it still means I can target the Dictator of D. The Dictator is banished. It is banished. So my Blue Eyes will attack your Apprentice Illusion Magician. And then I'll activate the effect of my Jet Dragon. It will Special Summon to the field. And now my Jet Dragon will attack your Dark Magician. Okay, yeah, he's just destroyed. Damage calculation! Oh, okay. I'll send your eternal soul back to your hand. Yay! Its effect activates. Yes, it does. Alexandrite Dragon attacks for 2,000. I'm gonna use the effect of my Magic Karibo in my hand. Wow. To special summon a Dark Magician. I'll end my turn. During the end phase, I'm going to activate the power of my Soul Servant. I place a card on top of my deck that mentions Dark Magician. My Magician's Rod. Draw. What do I drew, Duelist? I'm going to Normal Summon the Magician's Rod. When it's Normal Summon, I can add a Spell or Trap from my deck to my hand that mentions Dark Magician. I'm going to get the Dark Magic Expanded. I'm going to use the power of Soul Servant. By banishing it from my graveyard, I can draw a card for every Dark Magician and Dark Magician girl on the field and in the graveyard. Activate Crackdown. I want to target and take control of your Dark Magician. A good move, Duelist. But I've got one better. You do? You've activated my Trap card. Magician's Combination. I'll huh. tribute Dark Magician for Dark Magician Girl. 
and negate your crackdown. That's legitimate. I think he just, it just gets to stay. Was, oh yeah, it wasn't destroyed, so yeah. It just kind of just, crackdown. it gets a chill. Oh wait, when that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Well, it just never, it, it got completely negated, so it, like, just, I think it just stays. Oh, okay. I think. If it doesn't, I mean, it's, leave it's an angry ang comment, Look okay? how many other spell and traps Leave an angry comment. <laughs> I draw my two cards. Have I played a draw card? No, I haven't. Not Spellbook of Secrets. And he's gonna keep drawing. I'll get the Spellbook of Knowledge to my hand. We'll go ahead and activate it. I'll just send the Spellcaster away to draw two cards. Well, Dark Magician Girl's got 2300 attack at least. So she's going to attack your Alexandrite Dragon. I'll set two cards face down, Duelist, and end my turn. Draw for turn. In my standby phase, I'll use my Azurized Effect to bring back my Alexandrite I Dragon. I don't think so. You don't think so? Actually, I'm going to use the power of Magician's Combination. When you use Azurized Effect, I'll trade out the Dark Magician Girl for the Dark Magician. It negates your effect. That's not all, Duelist. Thanks to Dark Magical Circle. Since I special summon a Dark Magician, it means I get to target and banish one of your cards. Say goodbye to Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Blue Eyes White Dragon attack Dark Magician. Okay, since my Dark Magician was destroyed, I'm gonna use my Magic Rebo's effect and add it to my hand. And then my Azure Eyes will attack you for 2,500. I'll use Magic Haribo. I can special summon Dark Magician. You get to redeclare your attack. I won't attack. You won't attack, Warrior. I will not. I'll pass. I draw. I'll switch my Dark Magician to attack mode and enter the battle phase. We're gonna attack Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. During damage calculation, I'm gonna activate my Dark Magic Expanded. Since I've got Dark Magician, he'll gain a thousand attack until the end of this turn, and you can't activate cards or effects in response to my spell and trap cards, and they can't be destroyed by card effects. That's fair. Your move, Duelist. Draw for time. I'll pass. You'll pass for you. I will. I'll draw. Normal summon my Dimension Conjurer. I'll add Magical Dimension for my deck to my hand. I'll use Magical Dimension, Target Dimension Conjurer, Special Summon a Spellcaster from my hand, Legion the Fiend Gesture in defense, and that Destroy Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dimension Conjurer will also let me draw two cards and then place two cards on top of my deck. I'll draw two and place two. Dark Magician's gonna attack you directly for 2,500. Gotta take it. Your move to the list. Draw for turn. I will banish the White Stone of Ancients from my graveyard to add my Blue Eyes White Dragon back to my hand. I'll activate Majesty with Eyes of Blue. So I'll send my Blue Eyes to Grave. Now your Dark Condition can never attack. Now I'll activate Return the Dragon Lords. I'm going to special summon my Blue Eyes back to the field. Or you would, but I'll use my Magician's Combination. Ah. And we'll get to the Dark Magician Girl in defense mode and negate the, the Return of the Dragon Lords. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. We'll switch Dark Magician Girl to attack mode and Legion the Fiend Jester. Legion attacks for 1300. Gotta take it. And Dark Magician Girl attack for 23. I'm alive. Your move to Draw for turn. I'm going to activate Cards of Consonants. So I'll discard my Dragon Tuner, my White Stone Legend, to draw two cards. I will set one monster face down, set two face downs, and end my turn. I'll draw. Dark Magician Girl is going to attack your face down monster. She hits my Carbonet on. And then Legion the Fiend Gesture is going to attack you directly for 1300. I'll activate Call of the Haunted. How about I use my Magician's Navigation instead? I'll tribute my Dark Magician Girl and then special summon the Dark Magician to negate Call of the Haunted's effect. That means my Dark Magical Circle activates, and I'll target your final face down card. And I'll activate Silver's Cry. Special summon a normal monster from my graveyard, my Blue Eyes. I'll set one card face down and end my turn to list. I'll draw for turn. Blue Eyes, attack Legion. Legion is destroyed. I'll take 1700. I can't use its effect because it's the only vanilla that I have that turns on the field. And my turn. It all comes down to blue eyes and dark magician on the field. It is oh. how it was meant to be. I draw one card and I finally got what I needed to finish you off. I activate polymerization. You have a dragon in your hand? My mana dragons are neutron in my hand. <laughs> I'll use these two in a fusion summon for Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. So since its name is treated as Dark Magician, I can activate my Dark Magical Circle and target Blue Eyes White Dragon to banish it from the field. And now I'll enter the battle phase and attack you for 3,000. I gotta take it. And that's game, Duelist. <laughs> All right, Duelists. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was 
The Illusion of Dark Magician versus The Rise of the Blue Eyes. So what do you guys think of these OCG English or Asian English structure decks? Do you think these are something that they should maybe release? They definitely, to me, they feel more like star decks than structure decks just because the whole like one of thing they had going on here. It makes them a little inconsistent. I think that it's cool that they included modern cards, but I think it would be nice to have duplicates of a few cards. I don't know what the MSRP for these are over there, but but I think three, if you had three, three of these, oh yeah, you'd actually have like a pretty like a pretty solid deck. deck. It's kind of funny. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I feel like they should have put two copies of like Blue Eyes and Dark Magician in these decks. We're Just going because, on the Razor's Edge. <laughs> we have only one. And so I think it's banished or whatever. It's just, it's not even just that. It's that it turns off so many cards. Yeah. Like for you and for me, there's so many cards that like will summon one from deck or search something from deck or whatever. But like the moment that it's on the field or like you even in you your hand, then you can't use a lot of cards. So that would have been maybe a little bit better. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, we got a few favors to ask. Number one, like the video. Number two, comment. Comment anything, literally anything, I don't care. Oh, I, number two is supposed to be check out the others. Number, I thought it was number three. Check out the other structure decks that we've done. We've had many structure deck duels. Yeah, many structure deck duels. And without further ado, we'll see you guys in the next one. Past turn. turn. And then just because we've never seen an Asian English playmat before, let's have a look see. Oh, okay, just the uh, standard two monsters. Anything on back? Oh, and a generic one too. Cool.